Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very interesting video. This isn't your typical FNAF news video, because this topic is kinda wacky, just being honest. So I'm sure you've seen, around the internet very recently, a leaked release date for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's video game title being developed by Steel Wolf Studios. FNAF Security Breach, release date November 18th, 2021. Not even two months away, and honestly, it checks out. Since we do know that Steerwall has a release date for the game, they've been teasing us with the release date in the Freddy and Friends cartoons. And if they're gonna release a cartoon every two weeks, then we can speculate that the final episode will be on the 16th of November. And at that point, six episodes, six digits in the release date, boom, there's the release date. And while a release on the 18th of November does sound likely, you know, we would have the release date at that point, announcing the final release date only two days before release is a bit sketchy. To be fair, Deltarune Chapter 2 got the same treatment, and that went pretty well for the game, generating a lot of hype. But could the new FNAF game really reach that peak hype? And so that's what I'm here to explain to you guys today. What actually happened with the leaked release date, and what Steel Wool has to say about it. And also what I think about it. When's the game coming out, and when are we getting the release date? So how exactly did we get this leaked release date for FNAF Security Breach? Well, it came from a database leak involving GeForce NVIDIA Now. Basically, there was this massive, massive leak, one of the biggest in history, I believe, of thousands of thousands of games involved in NVIDIA GeForce Now. And the list you see on screen right now are all the games that do not have an ID on Steam or the Epic Game Store. As you can see, I'm still scrolling. HJ, it is insanely massive. And since we know that NVIDIA is backing the new FNAF game with their ray tracing and brand new technology for the PS5, it got people thinking, is FNAF on this list? And well, I think you all know the answer by now, but if you scroll down, there it is. FNAF Security Breach, with a release date of 2021 November 18th. By the way, Andrew Dayton is the CEO and founder of Steel Wool, so that's not wrong, he's just the founder. And even though this was a leak of databases, it's still from NVIDIA, which means technically this release date is official. At least at some point it was. Because this leak of the release date got so massive that Steel Wool, for the first time, I believe, actually acknowledged the leak. They made a tweet a couple hours later saying, hey all, we saw security breach was mentioned in a NVIDIA GeForce hack. Not to disappoint anyone, but the date mentioned was an old placeholder from ages ago. Our real launch date is, oh, I see what you did there with your fancy reverse psychology, not telling yet. So there you go, Steel Wall Studios basically debunked the November 18th release date. However, again, at some point it was official. It's just an old placeholder release date. However, I do have some thoughts on this, and this is where we move into the speculation portion of the video, right? My thoughts. When do I think we're getting the release date, and when I think the release date is? When do I think we're getting the release date? Pretty easy, November 16th. Like I said, Steel Wool have been teasing us one digit at a time with the release date in the new cartoon, Freddy and Friends, which so far is getting an episode every two weeks. Six digits, two weeks each, November 16th. That is the supposed date of the final episode. I personally do not think it'll be a couple days after the reveal of the release date. I think it'll be at least a couple weeks just to build up that hype. I will say, and, you know, you're, you're fine to not believe me, but I still do think it's coming out this year. Especially since the old placeholder release date was November of this year. And yes, I know that Stewall has a tendency to delay things slightly. With only a few months left and them thinking ages ago, alright, the game is still coming out in 2021, I do think it's gonna come out this year. And if it doesn't, I don't think we're gonna have to wait too long. Definitely a January at the latest. February release date. But I really do think it'll be in November or December. Based on what we've gotten so far with Freddy and Friends, it's gonna release either November 16th through the 19th, or December 10th through the 19th. Since we know that the day, as hinted by Freddy and Friends, will start with a 1. I'm leaning a bit more towards December, which I know that's cutting it pretty close, especially during that holiday season, but that could benefit sales. Because if it was November, again, it would have to be either the 16th through the 19th, 
17th, and I do think Steel Wolf should leave a bit more room for hype to build up with the launch. But yeah, that's basically the story of the leaked security breach release date and what Steel Wolf had to say, and also more thoughts. So tell me in the comments down below, when do you think we're gonna get the release date? When do you think the game will officially come out? It's honestly kind of crazy to me that this game is finally coming out. You know, it's been over two years. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I literally cannot picture playing FNAF Security Breach. You know, one of these days, you guys are gonna get a notification in your sub box, and I'm gonna say, hello, people of the internet, welcome to Five Nights at Frickin' Freddy Security Breach. But anyways, that is for the future. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Hopping into the jalopy, gonna go for a ride To the pizza shop with a friend We're jumping and rock until the sun goes down And the moon is shining forever and ever Forever and ever <laughs>